hi what's up guys this is Anna Van from Tech Chablis. hope you guys have a wonderful day the other day I was making a video showing you guys that uh, how to save the videos for offline watching on YouTube uh, especially here is YouTube app for Android so some of you guys are making a comment saying that mm, it, it, it doesn't work uh, I didn't see the save button uh, after updating my YouTube app uh, it said it doesn't work anymore Okay, so uh, here I want to show you guys that uh, I've already updated my YouTube app and the uh, video saving button is now changing to the download button, but it's still working fine, guys. So I want to explain more, a little bit more about that, but let's first, we're going to go and see uh, for the updating for the YouTube app. So we're going to check if my YouTube app has already updated. I just go into Google Play Store, go and open menu and go and open my apps and game here. Tap on that. And then in the list of updates here, as you can see, I updated this YouTube app uh, 22 hours ago. It's been like yesterday when I see that comment, I try to update it because I want to try uh, if it's working or not. So now I'm going to go and open this from here as well. Just make it fast okay so now I already open the first thing we have to remember when opening a YouTube app on Android and you want to save some videos on your watch list then you need to sign in okay make sure that you sign in so if you're not signing or you've logged out of the uh, Google Play Store and other uh, Google accounts on your Android and you just log in from here for this YouTube app okay Take a look at these profile picture. If you see your profile picture already, that means you're already logged in. So now, if I want to save any videos, for example, this video list is updating every uh, times, guys. So if I want to save these videos, for example, I tap uh, on the video to open it first. If you build, okay. So uh, after opening the video, you don't have to play it. It depends on you. So now, if you take a look at the download, add down a little bit uh, of the video, you will see the download button here, guys. What I want to say is the after update the YouTube app, the save button is changing its name only. But the function is still the same as a download button. Now it just changes download. It's not save anymore, but you can see it's download button and it has a, like an icon like that. So now if I want to download this, and I just tap on this. Okay, tap on view to see the list. Okay, here's the list of the things that I've already downloaded and just downloading currently. Sorry for my connection is a little bit slow. So it's start downloading already, guys. So here's the thing I want to tell you about. If you take a look at the line of text under the download list here which is this one. I want to tell you about this one. If you read on it, downloads remain available as long as your device has an internet connection every two days. I don't know, but I think that you have to get a good connection to start seeing the download button. So that is one of the, one of the things. If you don't have a good connection like a Wi-Fi connection, as for me, now it's a little bit slow in a very slow Wi-Fi range. If you take a look at my Wi-Fi right now, it is really low, guys. So, remember one thing. If you want to download or save for offline viewing, you have to get the uh, good connection first before you can really save it. Take a look at this. Is it transfer this into my watch list? Okay. It's almost like you download a video for watching it later. Um, you download it into your gallery, but it's now it's a download into a, a storage, a very like cloud storage or right on your watch list on your YouTube app, YouTube account on Android. Okay, so that's one thing. Another thing that I want to tell you is you guys may want to download a lot of videos. I know it. But if you take a look at this, now we're going to go and tap on this uh, it's video on this. It has a three dots button. If you take a look at this, tap on that. We have an option for pausing because it's downloading and deletes from downloads. So imagine that 
you have a, a phone your phone storage has around like 32 gigabytes 64 128 gigabytes and you want to download a lot of things until it has a not enough of uh, space then you might want to delete some right so it's just, just uh, apply that kind of thinking and thoughts into this okay so if you want to download a list list of videos and then one day you think, oh, I cannot download anymore. It is like a low space. Then you might want to try delete some from it. So one more tip is just download whatever you cannot watch. And it is very uh, interesting. And you want to save it for later watching. Because you also have to uh, get a lot of, you know, like get a good Wi-Fi before you can download it. That's the number two things okay so one more thing i want to tell you about that not every youtube videos has that save button so it is uh, made by itself it's either the creators or the owner of the videos doesn't want to share or doesn't want audience to save that he just want to keep it there people watch it on his channel but he doesn't want to have people to save it so why I know this because the other day I was watching a video and a lot of people say why I cannot save the save button it's almost the same like you guys and some of the guys say that why don't you enable the uh, saving for offline so that's it guys not every YouTube video has a save button so it might be that your the video that you want to save doesn't have the save button so it is made by itself so I cannot help with that uh, it depends so uh, that's it guys I hope you understand the video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos later on and goodbye for now thank you very much for watching okay